Meet Chris and Nikki and their two children, 15-month-old Mackenzie and big brother Cameron, who is four. Cameron's violent outbursts and relentless tantrums are pushing this household to the brink. I do dread getting up in the morning. I don't know what to do with it. He controls the whole family. When Cameron kicks off, he can um, bite, kick, spit, hit, slam doors, throw things around and be quite destructive as well. We'll physically have to rip him off the banisters. Chris's answer is to shut Cameron in his room. But we can be stuck up there for an hour and still have the same behaviour. He'll kick and he'll scream and he'll bang the door. You'll then be in a tug of war on the door with a four-year-old child. Cameron's out-of-control behaviour isn't limited to the family home. Cameron's now actually been asked to leave the nursery. He has smacked staff, bitten staff, the same to other children as well. If we don't get his behaviour sorted before he starts school in September, I am quite worried that he's going to be excluded from every school in this borough. I will. Nikki and Chris believe a family tragedy may have had a lasting impact on Cameron. Some of Cameron's bad behaviour could be put down to the fact that his younger brother died. Um, Cameron was only two and a half at the time. Josh was 11 months old when they lost him to cot death. Things like that teach you that there isn't always a tomorrow and sometimes I feel like it's just for today, which is probably why I don't discipline him as much as I should. Nikki's reluctance to reprimand Cameron is a source of conflict. I don't think you discipline him at all. I just feel sometimes that he's so naughty and everyone's always cross at him that if I wasn't there for him to give him a cuddle, then nobody would. I don't know how much more of all this that we can all take as a family. Um, on my new Chris's relationship. Super Nanny Jo Frost is the last hope for Nikki and Chris. She spent 17 years transforming nightmare offspring into model children. But how will she handle 10 rounds with the mighty Cameron? Hello. Hello. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Nikki. I'm Jo. Hi. Hi, Jo. Nice to meet you. I'll have to swap hands. Hi. <laughs> oh, you put Sorry. your hand there. This is Cameron. You can say hello. Hi, little one. Come and say hello. So pleased to meet you. <laughs> Oh, who's this little one here? Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Hello, and how old's Mackenzie? Mackenzie's he's 15 months now. 15 months. Hello, sweetie. I really just want you to carry on today as you would any other day, all right? Right, I need you to go and brush your teeth now. Come on, let's go brush your teeth, Cameron. Before she can fix the family's problems, Super Nanny needs to observe their normal behaviour. And the first thing to come to her attention is baby Mackenzie stuck in his playpen. How long do you think he actually spends in this a day? He probably spends about six hours in there. And as he's probably only up for 12, so that's like half the right, time half he's day. awake. Because yeah. most of our time we're running around after Cameron. Six hours? Mackenzie should be stimulated, exploring. It's all about his development. How is he able to do that when he's not even allowed outside the playpen? <laughs> Super Nanny doesn't have long to wait to see Cameron in action. You're not climbing up there, don't hit me. No, you're not climbing up there, it will not take your weight. Stop it! What do you just slap him in the chest for? Because I won't let him climb up there. No, so Cameron. when he doesn't get his own way, is that what he results to? Yeah. Physical <laughs> smacking, kicking and spitting, yeah. <clears throat> no, Cameron! There is no discipline in the house. I need you to no. sit down for a minute. No. No. There's no order. 